Hi, welcome to Styles Pearls of Wisdom. I am doing a couples uh, interview for Styles Pearl series, and this is my second couple that I get to interview, uh, Kelly and then her husband, Brian. Hi, nice to meet you guys. How are you guys doing today? Doing good, good. thanks. I love your decor behind you. It's so unique. I love it. I love all the music. Who's the musician? Uh, I'm a singer, so I have lots of stuff that involves music. <laughs> nice. I love it. So I've just been talking to Kelly and Brian off of uh, video and just kind of getting to know them a little bit. Um, Kelly is new to the pinup scene, so she is a fellow pinup sister of mine. So I'm excited to talk to her. And then her husband is uh, was gracious enough to uh, join us, too. So this should be something fun. Um, just to kind of introduce you guys, how long have you guys been married? Almost 17 years. Woo! And <laughs> how, how long have you guys been actually together? Well, probably 18 and a half years. Oh, almost 19 years. Almost 19, 19 years. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And do you guys have kids? Uh, I have a daughter from a previous marriage. Okay. She's 30. And then and I, have a, I have a grandson. You have a grandson. Oh, how old is the grandbaby? Uh, he'll be five in July. Oh, <laughs> look at that. He's going to be what? Uh, one more year before kindergarten, huh? Or does he start this year coming up? He would yeah. start in September. If they go back, he will. I hope so. Oh, let's pray <laughs> on it. <laughs> pray on it. These kids need to go back to school. <laughs> um. Okay, so I asked Kelly and Brian to fill out a little small questionnaire of questions, and they're just yes and no questions. So this first part, we're going to have them put a blindfold on, and I'm going to ask them the question, and all they can do is point to either themselves or they point to their partner. So basically, if I ask who is the cutest out of the two of you, they will point to who they thought was the cutest person. Who's cuter? <laughs> good job. That's a good answer. <laughs> so basically, that's how that for this first part works. So if you guys want to put on your blindfold, because I actually have the blindfold. Okay. Are you done? Yep. Yeah. All right, so I sent you guys about 12 questions, but since then I got a little bit more creative. So I did add some questions. So uh -oh. I will start, I uh, know, <laughs> right? So we're going to start with the first ones that you guys already knew about, and then we'll ease our way into the other one. So the first question is who is the bigger pushover? Okay, who is the most stubborn? Okay. Who initiates sex more? <laughs> Who said I love you first? Okay. Who is worse with money? Okay. <laughs> Who is more jealous? <laughs> okay. Who has the worst temper? Who nags more? <laughs> Who's messier? Who is more petty? Okay. Who is the best cook? Okay. Who cleans more? Oh, interesting. Who is who is the better kisser? <laughs> okay, who is more likely to deal with a spider? Do what? To kill the spider, to deal with a spider. Okay. Who has more exes? 
Yeah, all right. Who would win at the game of Monopoly? Okay. If you guys were out on a night of partying, who would be more hungover? <laughs> okay, who is the better driver? Okay. And then last but not least, who has the worst handwriting? All right, you guys can take off your blindfold. Did we pass? <laughs> I think you guys will be very interested when I tell you how you guys score. <laughs> <laughs> But that is the point of this, is to kind of find out how you guys feel about each other. <laughs> a couple of them are no doubters. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know. So um, with that being said, I do have some more general questions that you guys already did answer for me. Um, you talked about how you guys, uh, how long you guys have been married. I also asked you some general questions on how did you guys meet? So how, tell us how you guys met. Hmm. Well, we met through his best friend who used to work with me at my job. Mm -hmm. And I asked him if he had any friends that weren't losers. And then he, he mentioned him. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he's got a kid. Perfect. I'll be an instant mommy. And that I'm like afraid to have kids. So I was like, I could do that. And so he, he kind of fixed us up in, in a roundabout way. Cool. How does it feel to be a stepmom? How did, did you fall into that role pretty easily or was it struggle? Oh, it wasn't what I had thought it was going to be because it was a little bit hard mm -hmm. because no matter how good I was, I was like the wicked stepmom no matter what. <laughs> Yeah. But now, as as they grow up, it's it's a lot better. Good, 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 good. And then my other question I have um, is, uh, ooh, I'll actually wait until we get done with this a little bit more because those are a little bit later. So I'll ask you some more general questions. So this is just at, answer as honest as you possibly can. Um, one of my first questions I really like to ask a couple, especially ones that have been married as long as you guys, do you guys fight fair? Meaning no one hits below the belt, no one just says things just to be mean. Do you guys fight fair? We don't fight we, a lot. There's not a whole lot of fighting going on. <laughs> we, I like that. We never fight, but if we do get into disagreements about stupid stuff, we both, you know, state our case and then you know eventually we will get to a solution <laughs> there's there's no name calling nothing like that no okay we, we, we hardly ever fight we, we we don't say anything that we regret good that's what i was looking for to see if it, if anybody loses like their temper or if anybody gets more aggressive um do you guys believe in like the whole entire like you don't go to bed mad or do you guys like kind of like take a break from each other and then come back? Like, how is your style? <laughs> it's kind of some of each. <laughs> There's days that I will walk away and then, you know, we get back to and we just kind of like, you understand what, what I'm trying to say? Or, you know, we just try to like talk it out like in a normal tone. But like, we don't like ever just like go on and on and on over it we, over, over a couple of hours. I, where, where I couldn't tell you the last time we yelled at each other. I, I don't know. Years. That's sweet. Between yeah. the two of you, who's more emotional? Who will get more emotional? Oh, she will. For Me. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cry baby. Oh, it's okay. I'm a cry baby too. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, has either one of you ever been caught in like a lie? but you just had to bust them out and be like, you're lying and just caught them red handed. I don't think we have. You know, no. 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 Okay. Not what that about I think of a lie <laughs> that we've gotten into something about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Some of these what, will be a no. What about? 
Um, what about, ooh, this is a good one. Have mm. either one of you ever been suspicious of the other one cheating or just being extra flirty? No. I probably was suspicious in the very beginning because I've had a lot of bad relationships where I didn't have very good trust and they cheated and so he would he would say i'm not the other guys you have to start trusting me but i always had like you know my guard up mm -hmm. and he would, he would get mad about it because not not because i was necessarily doing anything just she's never been able to trust anybody right and that was actually going to lead into my other question i like to ask is if from since you guys have been together so long when you guys did connect and you guys met each other did, was there any like baggage from other relationships that you had to like get past to make your relationship better? Most <laughs> of it was my baggage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have trust issues. And, um, you know, he, he would like, I, I'm going to be fine. You know, you need to trust me. And I, I would be like, well, but I, I had a hard time, like just wanting to believe that, all guys were going to be like trust. she was her ex-boyfriend were still living with her mm. yeah he wouldn't leave so <laughs> oh that's baggage oh that's real big baggage yeah, he wouldn't leave till i came over and then oh. you know what? he finally left after i didn't come home one time and if i would have known that it, if that was yeah. all it took i would have not come yeah, home she stayed time. over at my house he packed the next day <laughs> <laughs> like that was the easy fix yeah, I was like, wow, I should have done this sooner. That's awesome, though. So with that being said, how was it for you, Brian, to deal with someone who constantly was having trust issues, knowing that you weren't doing anything that was untrustworthy, but you had a breakthrough to get her to trust you? Not really that big a deal. No? Really. No, because I, I know what I'm doing. That's a great answer. You I always what? say that. Yeah. I always say that. If you know that you're not doing anything wrong, there's no reason to get so nothing defensive. To worry about. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. You know. How long, Kelly, did you think it, it plagued your brain before you could really just let your guard down and be like, you know what, he's not like he, my ex. He's, he's a good guy. I don't know. I would say it was a good six months before I would feel like very comfortable with you know, letting my guard down because I've, I've probably put it down, but it was always still in the back of my head. Like if he was going to go out with his guy friends, I'd be wanting to ask 20 questions. Where are you going? Who's going to be there? Kind of stuff. But usually we don't go to many places without each other. So we don't really have that issue like before, like my other boyfriends were always doing something without me, mm. but he's my best friend. So we do everything together. So mm. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Did you ever resort to going through his stuff, like checking his cell phone, his pocket? I think way in the beginning I might have checked. There was an ex-wife that always was in the, you know, oh. trying to do stuff. So I kind of checked like when we first started, but he told me. And so I didn't really have to check because he would just tell me. Did the ex-wife ever play a role into your relationship, like having to get along with her for like the kids or having to like ever interact with her? Well, I always try to be nice just because it's better to be her friend than her enemy. And it works. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. When you have a kid involved, you have to be nice because you don't want the kid to hear you bashing their mom, you know. Exactly, exactly. You know, my daughter would naturally take her, her mom's side, so you gotta be careful with that. Yep, I was just about to and, say and that. I don't like, think it's right either, you know, that, uh, that you can bash uh, a parent, uh, you know, in front of a kid that's not uh, proper. No, you're absolutely right. It's not a healthy environment for the child to even hear that. So I'm glad that you guys were able to be uh, mature enough and loving enough to your kids that you want to put them through that. Um, here's a great question I like to ask. Mm. If you still have 
in-laws, like they're still around or they were around in your relationship, did you get along with your in-laws? Well, both of our parents are gone, but I got along with his mom. In fact, her and I did a lot of things together, um, which was kind of cool. <laughs> Because my mom was always sickly, and, and we could never do a lot of things. So I did most of the stuff with his mom. Yeah, she oh. did more stuff with my mom than I did. <laughs> but, but I was going to say, it wasn't one of those things where your mom loved her more than you. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know about that. But at the, the same time, though, I could sit down with her dad, and he would tell me stories that none of, none of his kids knew. I'm like, how do you hear that story? I know stuff story? that none of them know. I don't hear that story. I hear all the stories about their bathroom problems, and he hears about stuff. That <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> I got cool stories from when they were teenagers getting into trouble. And All right. Talk to me about stuff like that. I don't want to know what you did in the bathroom. <laughs> you know what? I had the same problem. Like, it's like my, my parents love my husband. They think that he's like the best thing to slice bread. I'll be looking at them like, Sometimes I feel like you love him more than me. They're like, oh, no. It's like, he's just our son. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> so, yes. My, I, but it's a good thing when your family can love who you're with just as much as you because that means that they truly, truly are happy for you. So that's awesome. Yes. Um, let's see about this. If, if there's one thing that, let's say there's just that one thing that you can say was your biggest obstacle that you had to get over in your marriage? What was that thing? For me? Mm -hmm. You could each do one. What was your one thing? Hmm. No, I don't have any obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, great. I'm trying to think of one, but I'm trying, I, I, I'm. So, I have one. <laughs> okay. I like <laughs> he, that. He's he like, knows what it is, too. I already okay. know what it's going to be. So you you uh, complimented her on the decor in this room. Uh-huh. You're seeing about 10% of what's in here. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a hoarder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a collection has turned into a hoard. Yeah. So... Um, he doesn't like all my shit. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> but he deals with it. Uh, you know, I was going to well, say, like, I, how do you deal with it? Like, okay, so would you rather her have it, like, in a different place? Would you rather her not have it at all? Well, <laughs> she's taking this room over, <laughs> and the basement is full of stuff, too. Um, but. If that's all I got to deal with, big deal. Yeah. I was going <laughs> to say, know? if that's the worst of it, you're like, uh, yeah. I could yeah. take it. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I always say, uh, I apologize to other guys because I got the best one. Oh, so. that was sweet. I say the same thing because nobody else is going to put up with all, all my crap, I don't think. Well, with you know what? Children. I think. I think that that's a good thing that even with all the, with the worst parts that you guys have said so far, it seems like you have a pretty solid relationship, regardless of those little things here and there. And that's all you can ask for, someone that's going to be understanding and work through it with you. Um, right. So here's a great question I love to ask. What is your bedroom like? Meaning like, who initiates the bound chicka wow wow? <laughs> oh, she does. Oh, <laughs> uh, you do too. She who's, does more. who's more romantic? Hmm. It's been a while since we've been romantic. So, um, <laughs> I would have to say if it was probably me, but. I don't know. It's been a long time since we've Give been me, Okay, married. okay. I'll, 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 let me make it easier. Yeah, tell what do you mean by romantic? <laughs> tell, me, <laughs> tell me the last time or tell me the most me memorable time where you were just blown away by like 
Like he just did everything. Like he did the flowers, he did the the music and the cat. Like when was that? Like give me that memory. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't happen. It doesn't. <laughs> I don't get a lot of flowers, not because he doesn't buy me them. I mean, they just die. So we used to have uh, a couple of cats that would eat flowers, so that just didn't work. They, they wouldn't last very long in my house, and I couldn't really endure them. I, I do like them, but if it's something that... There's no room to give her flowers because of the clutter. Shut up. There's room. <laughs> I'm not a person that would want flowers because flowers die. I would rather have a keepsake of like a yeah. garden something or, okay. something, or that lasts. something that has music that is, is like what I like. I'd rather have something that is to me than to have flowers that die because you can't keep those forever. That's just kind of me. All but, right. So well, when's the last time flowers? you just, okay, well, Kelly, when's the last time you just put on, like, a sexy negligee and just was like, come get it, big daddy? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I remember when. It wasn't too long ago. Come on now. Remember I brought up that crazy outfit from way back when? The one that stuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, there was one after that. <laughs> <laughs> One was so old, it was falling apart. That's how bad it was. Hold on one second. I got to get my battery charger. Uh-oh. Yeah. What do, you, what do you guys do for fun? If it's not like, if we, if we ever get out of quarantine, what would you guys like to do? What is your typical, like, date night? Date night? Oh, we'll go see a movie. We'll go eat dinner and then go see a movie. Yeah. Um, do you, yeah, do you cook for her? If we're going to go out and have fun on the weekend, what we'd rather do, we'll go fishing. Okay. So you guys like to do activities like outdoorsy? Do you guys, uh, so you guys have a lot of mutual, I would think a lot of mutual things that you like to do. Yeah, we like to fish. We go, you know, sometimes we would go up north and go sightseeing or. She's collecting rocks, so we'll uh, walk along the beach so she can pick rocks. We like to go dancing. Yeah, we swing dance when we get you a chance. You swing dance? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I haven't had to do this before. Show me a couple moves. I love swing dancing. Let's see. <laughs> Come on. You can't see them right in here. I, I'll get a gist of it. Do, do one little move. Show me a little dip or a little swing. Give me something. Come on. Oh, Let me see. Can you see us? I can see you. Okay. Oh, my God, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is our little no spin carpet. <laughs> we got shade carpet. Can you see it? Yeah. It, it, I can. It's not very slippery in here. Very good. Very sweet. So when's the last time you've been dancing? Well, since quarantine, you know. Yeah. We went dancing probably just before that. We went out. We go and listen to a lot of live music together. When I don't have a show, we go in different, different places where my friends are playing. And we like to listen to live music. So and we do that a lot. Do you, uh, you said that you sing. What kind of music do you sing? I do all kinds. I sing for senior homes, so I sing all the standards, 50s, 60s, old country. And then I have a girls group that sings 40s, 50s, and 60s, you know, like the Marvelettes and the Shirelles and yes. all the girl group music. Yeah. And then I do tributes to Loretta Lynn and Shania Twain and a couple of the other country, old country people. So I do a variety. You never get jealous, right, with your wife up there singing and all in front of all the guys and she's gorgeous? You don't, you don't ever feel like, or are you just like more proud because that's your wife? Yeah, I'm proud that it's my wife, sure. Yeah, that's a and, good answer. You know, they, they know who I am and they know that I'm maybe bigger than them and, you know, it's okay. <laughs> He's my he's my bodyguard. He's always I was gonna with say, me. 
<laughs> he's like, I was like, they know better. They know better. <laughs> I love it. Everybody that knows me knows about Brian. <laughs> you guys are a package. Package deal. That's right. Um, okay, well, that's awesome. Have you, um, let's see. Before I get to the two questions that I love to ask, I'm going to go to the other ones. <laughs> I know I, there's better. There's better. Um, one thing that I do want to kind of go over uh, just before I get to the last two questions that I ask is give me your pearls of wisdom. The the thing that you would give to another couple who is starting out or maybe they've gone through rough patches. What would be something that you can give them as advice from the two of you? Hmm. You go first. I have to think of something better. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> well, you know, if you know you're doing something that's going to get you in trouble, don't do it. That's simple. That's super, super simple. Yeah, be good. There you go. I think it's important to tell the person that you're with that they're number one. Because if Please. they don't know that, and they never, you know, they're just going to think, oh, I'm not anybody. But when I'm with my girlfriends, I always say, I'm so lucky. I wouldn't trade my man for anything. And they all are so envious of me. And I'm like, yeah, you should be because I got the best one. <laughs> and I'm not trading him in for anybody. So, <laughs> And my girlfriends laugh at me. But And I tell him, I said, you know, thank you. You're my favorite. You know, Aww. like. And so we do that all the time. And I think that is like reassuring for us. Yeah. Aww. Oh, absolutely. You got to tell her you love her all yeah. the time. Yeah. I, get a, I get a, I love you every morning and I get a kiss every day when he comes home from work. And sometimes when he goes to bed, he, he'll kiss me goodnight. So those three things are important, I think, and you should keep them all the time. Yeah. Aww. When you're not getting it any more than you might be as suspicious. So, yeah, I, you, totally. You asked earlier about uh, flowers. So a lot of guys give their girl flowers when they're in trouble. Right. Absolutely the wrong time to give flowers. Yep. Give flowers when you're not in trouble. Yep. Don't get in trouble. Just give her flowers because... Give her flowers. Don't even get in trouble. Uh, I agree. Because give her you're... something. Because when you so, give her flowers the next flowers, time, it's going to be... I finish her, her art projects. That's he finishes my art projects, or he'll he'll go to the store and get me, you know, I always come up with projects, and I'm like, honey, I need your help. And so then I give him my, my uh, parts that I don't understand, and, and he finishes my products, so we kind of, like, finish each other, so we complete, you know. Aww. Whatever I can't do. He helps and we we get it done and then we're like thank you yay <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that that's actually one of the most sweetest things I've heard is that you guys will just basically be each other's like rock and what she cannot do you do and I'm sure if you had trouble and she can help you she'll help you and that is truly what marriage is it's that partnership knowing that you have someone that's going to have your back and right. you guys do seem like you guys are going to have each other's back forever and that's just so it is kind of it is kind of precious this is precious i don't know how to describe that um, you, don't, <laughs> you don't see that a lot anymore you kind of see the the guy that's like oh, she'll figure it out or the girl that's like oh i'll do it on my own because he never helps me with anything so it's really nice to hear like someone say no if i need help that I can ask you like, honey, and then he's like, yes, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you take the honey-do list very seriously, don't you, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't I don't like to see her struggle. His Aww. list is long. Because right now I have nothing to do but make lists of things to do. <laughs> if, if she's struggling with something and it's just blah, 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 so I'll just finish. What do I got to do? Right. What do I do? How can I help you? Let me just let me put let me help you make your life easier. That is what you're supposed to do. That's that's what he says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah her projects always turn into my project. But. Hey. Let me help you make your life a little easier. What? How can I help you? And I'll tell him. Hey. And he'll I I love that. I I'm gonna give you uh, my husband's number. Uh, <laughs> you can yeah, talk. No. You can talk to him about it. <laughs> 
he gets more frustrated with me when I start a project and I don't finish it. He'll be like, you always start something new. And I'm like, well, <laughs> um, let's see. Do you love each other the same way that you loved each other when you first met? Oh, I would guess we love would, each other more. I would say more. More. Yeah. And then if you had to do this all over again with everything, everything you know about each other, all the pet peeves, the fact that she does this or he does that, would you still say I do? I would have done it way sooner than I had because I went through a lot of losers to get to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had it easy. I, I had to follow a bunch of idiots. It was really easy. <laughs> All I had to do was be one notch above an asshole and I was in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Um, and then another question I love to ask. If you could change one thing, one thing about your partner, anything, what would you change? Hmm. I know what he would change on me. <laughs> hmm. Can we get rid of this now is what he, he would change. <laughs> Can we get rid of this? What are you going to do with this? But for me, I'm trying to think of what I would change. Hmm. I wouldn't change anything. No? No, I, I can put up with this stuff. I, I, it's, no, it's really not that big a deal. I don't know. I can't find him. I can't think of anything. I love it. You don't have to. Like, I feel like sometimes when I ask these questions, people feel like they have to have an answer. But if it's really nothing, that's the answer. You don't want to change. And that's beautiful. Because well, everybody there's one that, that I would like to change, but he doesn't like like going to stay at other people's houses. Oh. If our friends invite us, he's a little bit more like, I like being on our own. And I kind of enjoy doing stuff with our friends and staying with our friends. So he's a little different on that aspect than me. But, you know, that's the one thing I would like say, okay, you can handle it. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Quite I frankly, I'd... I was just about to say yes. Some friends did ask us to do something, and I told her, I, I guess I can give this a try. Aww, yeah, he's getting better at it, but he, he doesn't usually like, you know, being committed to have to stay at anybody's house. He likes to have his own. You stay with somebody in their house, now you got to do what they want to do. That is, you know what, I can almost get down with your theory, Ryan, because even when I go visit family, they always get mad that we want a hotel. But in my mind, I'm like, no, because then if it's like, if you yeah. want like just privacy, or if you ever just want to go number two, like you kind of just want to be able to go number two in your own bathroom, you don't have to worry about like someone falling behind you, and you just went number two, and you're like, oh crap, or like literally, oh crap. So you're like, yeah. you know, I can understand that. I can, I can almost understand why you want, why you want your own space. I, I kind of dig that. I can. I see eye to eye with you, Brian. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, and then the other question to kind of follow up that one is, what is the one thing that you love the most about your partner? Hmm. Hmm. The way she cares about me. The way that he makes me number one. That's perfect. <laughs> How corny, like, huh? Oh. <laughs> it's true because, like, my sisters would get like, "Oh, puke, puke," you know. They, you know, he'll give me a compliment, and they'll be like, "Oh, you're putting it on thick," and it's like, "No, that's just how he is," and they're jealous. <laughs> okay, I'm like that. Oh, queen, they're that, jealous. That's basically, and don't let anybody steal your shine. Then. Because a lot of times misery loves company. So if you're happy with his his sappiness and you want to be all like lovey dovey, do keep doing that. Like I I don't like when couples stop that. Like it it's in the beginning and then all of a sudden as time goes on it just kind of gets less and less and less. And it's like it's really nice to kind of see a, a couple really be snuggy luggy and I like to see when like my daddy will pinch my mama's booty still. I think that's a theory. <laughs> I'm like, I love that. I'm like, still show each other that you love each other and that you care. That's 
There's nothing wrong with that at no. all. So, do you want to hear your, your responses to your answers here? Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, these are the questions. Who is the pushover? What did you guys say? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then the question was, who is the most stubborn? Oh, boy, we're done doing too good. <laughs> um, and then who initiates sex more? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, who said they loved each other first? Yeah, yeah, they both think that you, and I have to ask the question on that. So when do you guys think that you said it first, that you both think you said it first? Oh, I, I don't know. You didn't say it first. Sure I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when, but I'm sure I did. I don't think so. I think Wait. it was me, but I couldn't tell you when, because now I can't remember. I'm getting <laughs> old. I can't remember what happened yesterday or what day it is today. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I asked, who is bad with money? We're both good with money, but it'd have to be me. Yeah. Yep. That's what <laughs> we're, you both said. We're both said. kind of tight lodge, so, you know. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with that. I asked, who is more jealous? That would be me. Yep. You guys got that one on the point. That's, wow, we got one right. That's a no doubter. Yeah. <laughs> there's a couple of no doubters that's one yep i think the next one's a no doubter who has the worst temper me yep <laughs> and yep. then i had who nagged more she me yep you guys both said that uh who's the messier one she me. is <laughs> there's the no doubters yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then i said who cooks more him and he said yeah. you well, yeah. lately I've been cooking, but normally, no. He usually would get some fast food. That's how I cook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if it wasn't for a COVID pandemic, uh, you know, we'd be going out a lot more. Right. Our dishwasher right. has seen more action in the last six weeks than it's seen in the last six years. <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked who cleans more. She does. I do? Yeah, yeah she that? said you, and well, then you said her. I look after myself sometimes, but I leave lots of messes. So in my in my thought, it's still not clean because I leave messes everywhere right now. So <laughs> <laughs> he usually cleans very good. I'm just like a, a rush cleaner, and then I can't find where I put anything. Okay, well, Lee, you're very honest. I love that. I love the <laughs> fact that you guys are very honest. Um, and then I asked, who would be the stricter parent? Me. And he thinks he is. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then she wrote at the end of her little statement that she that she spoiled and that you spoil her. So she feels very <laughs> spoiled, <laughs> which I love. Um, some of the questions that I kind of threw in there today that you guys did not have before was, mm. um, these are cute. These are cute answers. I asked who was the better kisser. What did you guys say? Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked um, the question of who has the more exes. I think you guys are got the same answer on this one. Yep. Yeah. Um, I said who, if you guys went out for a night of partying, who would be the more hungover? You guys answer the same. Because <laughs> she doesn't drink. Oh, well, then, yeah, that's an easy one. Uh, I asked, who would win at the game Monopoly? Me. <laughs> he cheats. I don't cheat. <laughs> you didn't want to take the time to play Monopoly in the first place. That game takes too damn long. <laughs> it does. I hate Monopoly. <laughs> but the thing about Monopoly, if you play with someone, you will really see who they are as a person. Because Monopoly brings out the most evil in somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Give me I also, 200. Right. It's like people try to will and deal and try to manipulate. It's pretty bad. It gets pretty, pretty bad. I used to like it, but no, it's too long of a game. I also asked, um, who has the better handwriting? I think you do. 
I think she does. Yeah, I think you guys said the opposite. Oh, and then really? I asked who was the better driver. I think you guys both answered the same. I yep. He hates my oh, driving. Oh, he said it so confidently. He was like, me. Like, he said oh, it no. so confidently. <laughs> I don't no even like to drive, but if, if we go anywhere, I'm glad to let him drive because I hate driving. Yeah, she's not good oh, at it. So. I'm good at it. I just don't like it. Terrible yeah. driver. I can understand that. I am a good driver, but I sometimes just like to be so furred around. I just want to be, I want to be able to play on my phone. And I'm right. a, I'm a notorious take a napper in the car. Like, the car's going to sleep. I guess yeah, so. We can, we can ask ask my body shop who's the better driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, people keep nicking me in the in the parking lot. So it doesn't always necessarily mean I did it. <laughs> well, the two of you are very, very sweet. And the one thing I can say, uh, listening to your story, is that no matter what, it is important to tell each other that you guys love each other and how much you, how much you're number one. That was actually a really great pearl of wisdom. Because I think I'm even guilty of that. I don't tell my significant other enough how important he is. And that is very true. It, it, it's something that needs to happen. So thank you for giving that pearl because that is such, that's something that you wouldn't even think of in a relationship, that it's important to just tell each other like how much you mean to one another. So thank you for that. And, You're welcome. Um, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. You guys have been awesome. Thank you for doing this for me. I hope you guys had fun. <laughs> Yes. When will it be uh, on the uh, on your show? Will I we get to see the other people? Yes. Yes. Um, I will get started editing them by the end of the week. Um, I'm still finishing up a series of the Shell's Pearls, but I'll get started on doing my couple interviews. I have a couple more this week, so I'm trying to get like a little cluster of them so I can put them all out at the same time. But definitely, you guys will see it. And um, I will post even your answers because you guys sent them to me so that you can see them and black and white <laughs> and uh see how you guys answered but honestly you guys are pretty darn compatible so i don't even know i don't even know what more that you guys can even learn from each other because it seems like you guys are pretty open and honest so that's awesome <laughs> well thank you it was fun oh yes and thank you for dancing for me i love swing dancing i want to learn it so bad my husband hates to dance you're so lucky that you have a husband that likes to dance Yes, that's the other thing. I could never find a man who would dance with me. Oh my gosh. I, girl, you and me both. I can't. My husband looks at me like I'm crazy when I ask him to dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, please. I have to beg him. I have to be like, please, please. And he'll finally be like, fine. And he knows how to dance well. That's, what, that's what's crazy. He knows how. He just doesn't like to. So. Oh. Well, you just have to praise him a little bit more and maybe he'll I get... I think I am. I'm going to butter his biscuit a little bit more. I'm going to take <laughs> your advice and I'm going to really butter his biscuit. I'm going to really be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Thank you again, Kelly. Thank you again, Brian, for being on the show. Um, yep, thank hopefully, you. It was fun. Hopefully I see you around the, the, um, the bend with some of the contests. I would love to like see you out there. Well, I'm going to keep trying. I never always get picked, but I'm not good at putting hair and makeup on. And I like getting outfits together, but the rest of it is just a, a big mess. <laughs> oh, my God. Hit me up. I have a lot of hairdo ideas. So I All can right, totally I help you with that. Thank you. It was fun. It was so much fun. Thank you so much. Don't, don't hang up yet, though, guys. Um, for everybody out there, um, please, if you haven't already, hit like at the bottom of the screen and subscribe. Thank you for joining me on Shell's Pearls of Wisdom. This has been great. And just remember to love each other and tell each other all the time how much you love each other and how much you guys are important to each other because that is something that is really important. And I never thought about how important it was until they said it. So thank you so much again for that. Bye, you guys. Bye. Okay. See ya.